Hey guys, this is Eric from Invensys, and I welcome you to our YouTube channel. In today's session, we will talk about Scrum vs. Agile. Before we get started, I would like to address the agenda for today's session. So, we will start our session by first understanding what is Agile and what is Scrum. Then we will look at the key difference between Agile and Scrum. Moving ahead we will understand the advantages and disadvantages of Agile and Scrum. Finally, we will wrap up this session by concluding with which methodology one needs to move forward with. If you like this video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, to learn more about project management and its practices, check out Invensys Learning's Project Management Certification Training on Prince 2, Project Management Fundamentals, PO, and MSB. All the necessary information is given in the description box below. So let's start with the first topic, what Agile methodology is? Simply put, Agile project management is a philosophy or methodology for project management that takes an iterative approach to project completion. The Agile strategy, according to the Project Management Institute, PMI, aims to produce early, measurable ROI through defined, iterative delivery of product features. Because Agile techniques are iterative, regular interaction with the client is required to ensure that expectations are matched and to allow the project manager to adjust to changes as the project progresses. Unlike other software development approaches, this methodology allows for concurrent development and testing. It also promotes collaboration and direct communication. To produce a product, the business, stakeholders, developers, and clients must collaborate. Consider Agile in its broadest sense as a way of thinking about how we approach project work. The key ideals and concepts of an Agile approach are those that may be applied across multiple, specialized approaches. For example, if you're managing your projects with an Agile philosophy, you'll want to have regular interactions with the client and or end users, you'll commit to a more open understanding of scope that may evolve based on feedback from end users, and you'll deliver the scope of work in an iterative manner. Now that we have understood what Agile is, let's understand, what Scrum is? Scrum is an Agile process that allows software development teams to focus on producing business value in the shortest amount of time by examining actual functioning software frequently and quickly. It emphasizes accountability, collaboration, and iterative development toward well-defined objectives. The Scrum framework was created to deal with the problem that requirements are likely to change or are unknown at the start of a project. As Scrum is a specific methodology for how one manages a project, it provides a process for how to identify the work, who will do the work, how it will be done and when it will be completed. When it comes to project work, the Scrum technique is known for its short phases, or sprints. During sprint planning, the project team selects a small portion of the scope to be accomplished during the next sprint, which typically lasts two to four weeks. This work should be ready to deliver to the client at the end of the sprint. The sprint comes to a close with a sprint review and retrospective, or, more accurately, lessons learned. Throughout the project lifespan, this cycle is repeated until the complete scope has been delivered. This resembles characteristics of traditional project management in many respects. However, rather than providing everything at the end, one of the main changes is how shippable components of the project are created along the route. As a result, rather than waiting until the project is completed to see results, the customer may see the value of the project throughout the process. Now let's finally have a look at the differences between Agile and Scrum. First let's see the difference of approach between the two methodologies. Agile is a method of software development that uses iterative and incremental approaches. Scrum is one of the Agile methodology's implementations. The customer receives incremental builds every two to three weeks in this case. Agile software development has long been seen to be best suited to scenarios where the project development team is small but highly skilled. Scrum works best for projects that have a lot of moving parts. When contrasted to Scrum, Agile is a more rigid process. As a result, there isn't much room for frequent changes. Scrum's greatest benefit is its adaptability, as it reacts fast to changes. The project leader is in control of all tasks in the Agile methodology. Because there is no team leader in a Scrum, the concerns or problems are addressed by the entire team. In Agile, design and implementation should be kept simple. 
Scrum allows for innovative and exploratory design and execution. Agile development can involve a lot of procedural and organizational change up front. There aren't many changes that need to be made while applying the Scrum process. Working software is the most basic indicator of Agile progress. Working software is not a basic Scrum criterion. The Agile technique fosters end-user feedback throughout the development process. The ultimate product will be more useful as a result of this. A daily sprint meeting is held in Scrum to review and provide feedback on the project's progress. Leadership is extremely important in the Agile process. Scrum encourages a cross-functional, self-organizing team. Cross-functional collaborations and face-to-face interactions between team members are key components of Agile. Collaboration is achieved in Scrum by holding daily stand-up meetings in which the Scrum master, product owner, and team members each have a specific role to play. The Agile method requires that the product be delivered to the end user on a regular basis for feedback. After each sprint, a build is sent to the client for input in the Scrum. Now let's have a look at advantages and disadvantages of Agile. Let's start with advantages first. Change is welcomed. As planning cycles are shorter, it's simple to accommodate and accept adjustments at any stage of the project. The backlog may always be refined and reprioritized, allowing teams to make changes to the project in a couple of weeks. End goal may be ambiguous, Agile is particularly useful for projects with a hazy end goal. The goals will emerge as the project advances, and development may simply adjust to these changing requirements. Faster, high-quality delivery Breaking the project down into iterations, manageable units, allows the team to concentrate on high-quality development, testing, and collaboration. Testing during each cycle allows bugs to be detected and fixed more rapidly. With continuous, successive iterations, this high-quality software may be provided faster. Strong team interaction, Agile emphasizes the need for frequent communication and face-to-face contact among team members. People are able to take responsibility for and own aspects of tasks when they work in groups. Customers are heard. Customers have numerous opportunities to observe work in progress, provide feedback, and have a direct impact on the final product. Working so closely with the project team might give them a sense of ownership. Continuous improvement. Agile programs encourage users and team members to provide feedback throughout the project, so lessons learned can be applied to subsequent iterations. Now let's look at the disadvantages of Agile. Planning can be more amorphous, it's not always easy to nail down a firm delivery date. Because Agile is built on time box delivery and project managers frequently reprioritize work, some items that were scheduled for delivery may not be completed on time. Additional sprints can also be added at any point during the project, lengthening the overall duration. The team must be knowledgeable, Agile teams are typically small, Thus team members must be extremely competent in a range of areas. They must also be aware of and comfortable with the Agile methodology adopted. Developer time commitment. Agile works best when the development team is entirely focused on the project. Throughout the Agile process, which takes longer than a traditional approach, active participation and communication are necessary. It also implies that the developers must commit to the project for the entire period. Documentation can be neglected as the Agile Manifesto prioritizes working software over extensive documentation, some team members may believe that focusing on documentation is less vital. While thorough documentation does not guarantee project success, Agile teams must strike the correct balance between documentation and dialogue. Moving ahead let's now look at the advantages and disadvantages of Scrum. More transparency and project visibility, by holding daily stand-up meetings, The entire team is aware of who is responsible for what, reducing misunderstandings and confusion. Issues are discovered ahead of time, allowing the team to address them before they become a major problem. Increased team accountability, the Scrum team does not have a project manager telling them what to do and when to do it. Instead, the team selects what work they can finish in each sprint as a group. They all collaborate and assist one another enhancing teamwork and empowering each team member to be self-sufficient. Easy to accommodate changes, changes are easier to live with and adjust when you work in short sprints and get regular feedback. If the team discovers a new user story during one sprint, for example, 
they may quickly add it to the next sprint's backlog at the backlog refinement meeting. Increased cost savings, constant communication ensures that the entire team is informed of any difficulties or changes as soon as they occur, lowering costs and improving quality. Because things are coded and tested in smaller chunks, there is constant feedback, and mistakes may be remedied before they become too costly to solve. Now here are the disadvantages of Scrum. Risk of scope creep. It is a risk that certain Scrum projects face due to a lack of a defined end date. With no deadline in sight, stakeholders may be tempted to keep seeking more features. The team requires experiment and commitment. With clearly defined roles and duties, the team will need to be familiar with Scrum concepts in order to thrive. Scrum teams require team members with technical skills because there are no defined roles. Everyone does everything. The team must also commit to attending daily Scrum sessions and remaining on the team throughout the project. The wrong Scrum master can completely derail a project. A Scrum master is not the same as a project manager. The Scrum master does not have control over the team. Instead, he or she must trust and never tell the team what to do. The project will fail if the Scrum master tries to dominate the team. Inaccuracies might result from poorly stated tasks, If tasks are not adequately defined, project prices and timelines will be inaccurate. Planning becomes difficult if the initial goals are unclear, and sprints can take longer than expected. Let's conclude this session by getting clear with what methodology you should move forward with. Companies are rapidly employing agile developers and scrum specialists to keep up with today's hyper-competitive technology market, and they're doing quite well. Appropriate training is required if you want to develop a successful career in Agile or Scrum. Not only will the correct courses provide you with the required training to succeed on the job, but you will also be able to distinguish yourself from the competition by earning important credentials. If you are going to opt for Agile you'll need to look at the unique requirements and limitations involved in your project to see if Agile is suited for it. Agile was born in the context of software development projects and has proven to be particularly effective in this field. With this in mind, Agile will not work for projects with very stringent scope and development needs. Now if you decide that an Agile approach is ideal for your project, you'll need to figure out whether Scrum is the optimal Agile methodology for your needs and objectives. Scrum is best suited to projects with ambiguous requirements, a high likelihood of change, and or regular testing. If you want to become a Certified Scrum Master enroll in Invensys Learning Certified Scrum Master Certification Training, where you'll get an insightful experience on this widely used software development methodology. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced software developer, you can also benefit from Agile Scrum Master, ASM, certification training. This comprehensive program covers every aspect of the Agile approach when it comes to software development and project management. And with this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope it was helpful. If this has spiked your interest and you want to know more about Agile or Scrum, I recommend you to opt for Agile or Scrum training. At Invensys Learning, we provide various Agile and Scrum certifications that will pave the way for your career in the specialization of Agile and Scrum. For each of these certifications, we are accredited by respective governing bodies or courses in line with their guidelines. Post-enrollment, you will get lifetime access to a personalized learning management system. LMS has all the class recordings, live class, webinar links along with assignments and case studies to practice. All classes are live instructor-led delivered by trainers with rich domain experience. Thank you guys. See you in the next session.